Cyberbullying and bullying are both not okay. It just can't happen. Hi, I'm Steve Novakis, principal here at Rooster Springs Elementary. Um, here at Rooster Springs, we, um, we emphasize RISE behavior. That's being respectful, um, having integrity, being safe, and always using excellence. And so to, um, this week in the CLNI, Mrs. Rogers has been teaching our third through fifth graders about kindness and treating each other with respect, not only face-to-face, uh, -face, but on, in our digital world on social media and while they're online. Let's take a look and see what she's doing. With third through fifth grade, I am teaching them and talking to them about cyberbullying. Just kind of bringing awareness to what it is. And so we're doing that by reading a book called Nerdy Birdie Tweets. This is Nerdy Birdie. That's about a little bird who joins Tweetster and tweets um, about his friend, a not a very kind photo or caption. And it's about going through that and his friend being upset with him and working that out. In Senateville 11 this year, something new is that we, it's, we need to directly be teaching kids about cyberbullying. Um, it's a big part of the social and emotional learning piece. We learned about cyberbullying and how you want to be an upstander and report the bullying. Don't be a monster and stick up for your teammates or people that you may not know and you will know. I kind of saw a lot of, well, I have seen that before, you know, not, not really ever thinking about it. We've had students say, yes, I've seen that happen. What if they just make one comment? Is that cyberbullying? And then we talked about how that one comment is going to make that person feel and how people get a little bit more brave when they're in the world, the digital world. It's still going to hurt the person even if it is online because they still have feelings and it's still a real person that's going to see that and then they're going to get hurt. So you have to be really aware and think about the things that you post. There's eight pick stations. We call them passion, innovation, and creation stations. And I try to theme some of them around what we're learning about. So in one of them, the drawing station, I have some little thankful cards for them to have an opportunity to write to a friend or a family member saying why they're thankful for them. We created, we printed on post-it notes these really cute little kind saying, kind is the new cool and they're going to write a little message and they can put it any book in the center so that when a child picks out that or checks out that book, maybe it'll brighten their day if they're having a bad day when they come across that note. 